This meteorite came to me from a client and friend of mine. Uh, it came from his grandmother's estate. And when he saw the article uh, that went viral around the world on the meteorite that was found and taken to Central Michigan University, I contacted the professor there. It took me a couple of months, but I contacted uh, Mona uh, Serbescu. She's professor at Central Michigan University. And finally, uh, she said, yes, bring it in. We'll check it out. And so I came to Michigan and she checked it out. And it turns out it is out of all the ones that have been brought to her over 300 over the years. This is the third one that actually was a meteorite. This one weighs uh, about 36 pounds and it's about uh, 10 pounds heavier than the one that was found last year called the door stop meteorite. This one is not a fragment, it's more what they call an individual and uh, it is in good shape because it was kept indoors. So it has what they call, what uh, Mona, the professor told me is a good fusion crust. And she is working with uh, other department at Central Michigan, the art and design department, a professor there who is gonna do some special 3D imaging of this because they want to use the new technology to then make a 3D version of the meteorite once they do that. And then they're also working with a professor that's doing a geochemical footprinting so that we can find out where this came from, where it fell. And hopefully, if someone's interested in this, after all this is done, that this can be put into a museum and, and bought, and then the, uh, half the proceeds will be put back into education for the kids. It's at the geology department at uh, Central Michigan, and for a project that I'm working on, financial literacy for young people. So that's what we're hoping to accomplish with this meteorite. And it's just been fun dealing with it and seeing people enjoy it too.